Hello, my fellow anti boredom fighters, and welcome back for more Super Mario and the Sacred Bells. Last time we finished off Sunnyside Beach, and today we're gonna take on the boss of Sunnyside Beach World 5 boss Morton Cooper Jr. I do not have a good feeling about this. Gilbert, you know those dumb bosses that keep throwing stuff, you kick back at them? Morton's one of them. That's right, he's one of those bosses where you need to throw back projectiles. Remember? Remember Larry Cooper? Ugh. Let's fight Mario! Is it just you? No tricks or anything? Yep. I don't buy that. Really? This'll be easy then. Well, there is one thing. Now let's fight! <laughs> what is this? Jurassic Park? Anyway, this boss is really obnoxious. Again, like all the bosses, he follows a pattern, but... Yeah. Okay, this is a combination of the Larry... Uh, of the Larry, Roy... The Larry and Roy boss fight, basically. They both follow a pattern and you can only hit them when they throw a specific projectile yet you can throw back at them. In this case, it's the Cooper Shell. Or the Band... Band... Banderinos. I'm not sure if you can throw back at Morton. But he basically throws a ton of other stuff and you know how that goes because... But... Uh, like Larry, if he powers up the screen, good luck trying to clear it because... Uh, this is a pretty tricky boss fight. Um, It could be tougher than Wendy, I'm not sure. Basically, around Wendy is when I'll say the boss fights start becoming... A bit too obnoxious for their own freaking good. Uh, this, this thing, you just need to jump over them. These barrels do... Barrels? Bubbles home in on you, so that's a bit tricky. Cooper shells? Okay, I think you can only use Cooper shells on him, but yeah. I do find it funny how whenever Mario dies, he falls into the ocean. <laughs> it's like, no, I can't swim. I'm a plum, eh? Uh, but this is a annoying boss fight, to say the least. There is so much stuff to dodge. It's not even funny. He toss out like 4 projectiles every time and the Cooper Shell is what you want to hit him with. And yeah, it's a combination of the Larry and Roy boss fight basically and... Yeah, it's not fun. This game doesn't have the best collusion detection in the world and... As a result, I'm gonna die in this boss fight. Quite a fair bit. <coughs> At least this attack is freaking easy to avoid. I Again, like Wendy, I'm... This is my first time facing him, although as I said, I saw all these bosses before because they are the best part of the game. And hence, ah, you can't spin jump on the bubbles. Lame. Crap. Oh. How did that hit him? You know what? I was gonna say don't answer that, but then he suddenly resumed his pattern. Again, like Wendy, it's my first time facing these bosses. I have saw these bosses before because they are the best part of the game, quite honestly. I think what you basically want is, um, try getting a, a ton of spin jumps off. And then get rid of the enemy, seriously, get rid of them as quick as possible, except for the, except for the Cooper. Get lost, Modern! Spin jump moving will be your friend here, if you don't spin jump, these enemies will be your down for uh, again he is a tricky boss fight not so much tricky per se it's just his enemies like Larry he piles them on the ground and and I find his attack pattern even worse than Larry's which is saying something because I despise Larry with a passion but at least he's not the first boss so he's got that going for him I guess he piles four enemies on the ground and it's like Ugh. It's very easy to screw up this boss fight, that's what I'm basically trying to say. Yeah. 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 Uh. I- This move is really, really annoying to dodge. There we go. Nice, got him. So that's basically the, the rough gist of how to attack Morton. Spin jump his countless barrage of enemies. 
<laughs> so that's again easier said than done because he's attacking at the same time and his attack pattern is for all personal opinions worse than Larry's. Larry's at least has a pretty predictable attack pattern. This this again the at the enemies that come out are random. And I hate the spikes and the rexes and anything that takes more than one hit to die because that tends to happen. <laughs> oh, the sprite was cut off there. Whatever. Whoa, crap. Uh. Alright, begin your relentless barrage. Like, you look there, it's a random pattern and I can't... I can't even get the spin jump off to even speed kill the guy because... There's so much stuff you need to dodge. Yes, those lies I grind up back at 5-3, they were for this guy. I knew he was gonna be a tough little sucker. Alrighty. Like, you wanna clear these guys with a spin jump or something, but then this move starts, and this move is so obnoxious to dodge, as well as the enemies, it's like, uh, why? There, yeah, got him. I can, like, only get one hit out of him. Don't worry, I, I would eventually beat the boss. Again, like all bosses, come on. I think four enemies is kind of overkill, especially when those enemies are Rexes and Spikes and Bandados. So as a combination of the Larry and Roy boss fight, this really brings out the worst in both boss fights. Ton of, ton, tons of enemies, like, instead of just being pure Bandidos in the Larry boss fight, here we have Spikes as well, and it's... It's... Something, to say the least. It's something. It's a challenging boss. I don't like how he starts this fire move the moment he tosses the Koopa shell out. It's like, it doesn't give you a chance to react. Next time on Conus Board. Wait, he's still stuck on the dinosaur you gave to the hammer, brother? Yes, sir, is, sir. Yep, yep, yep. Well played, Ozzy. Well played. I wonder about those two. Yes, I hate this boss fight. Quite a fair bit. 